Greetings from Bulgaria. I'm Volk, and this is part number six of my short Swator tips video series. Today's tip is suggested by Master Ayman, who asked me to show the cooldown timers for my abilities. And I've decided to took up on that suggestion and make a video about it. And because of the good suggestion, I would like to reward him a cartel pack of the latest shipment. Just like I promised when I started the series. Say welcome to Skorox, he's my marauder. And he's going to show you the different options of uh, cooldown, display, the border lines, the effects, the flashing, and cool things like that. As well as my prefer preferences and uh, personal favorite setup. First of all, these settings, you might think they are a part of the uh, interface editor, but unfortunately, no. I don't know why Bauer decided to split them. However, it's actually really easier to find them here because there is more real estate, more space, so you can display more things at the same time instead of the tiny window of the user, face, user interface editor. There it is. User interface section of the preferences, we go down to cooldown settings and we have abilities to show ready flash, show global cooldown ready flash, show cooldown text which actually activates and deactivates these things below. From the drop down menus we have a few styles and when you mouse over the styles, you have to drop down the menu, you have to mouse over one of the styles and you would see a short description of each one of the styles as well as this one. And now that I've actually shown you these things, we might better move to the operation dummy on my starship so I can really show you some cooldowns of active abilities. Now we're sitting here in front of the operation training dummy and I would like to show you a few of different, there are many options and I will probably not go over all of them, I will leave to you to do the testing. However, we begin with the cooldown settings here all turned off. I am going to use an ability with a cooldown and please watch how it changes. This ability is on cooldown, it's not flashing, it does still have that bar that's going empty at the moment because of the style selected and when the cooldown is over, nothing really happens. The ability just lights up and it is available. If I activate show ready flash and click apply obviously on the same ability, it is still going down, it is still deactivated with the blue bar selected uh, as an option. But when the cooldown is over, there is that light flash. It's not too bothering, it's not too annoying, but it is there. Showing global cooldown ready flash is something I could probably show you with the basic ability. You see that everything flashes. Every ability flashes a, a little bit. If it's not activated, nothing really flashes. It's a very little uh, difference between activated and deactivated. I wouldn't really call it that very important, but I like to have it on. For show cooldown text, you will see a number appearing uh, on the cooldown of the abilities. I will obviously have to use an ability with a cooldown and then the text would start appearing. For the cooldown style, we have a, a few different styles. Let's see, style one, bright cooldown with a dark overlay. That's my favorite. For style two, we have bright cooldown with no overlay. For style three, we have dark cooldown with a dark overlay. For style four, we have dark cooldown with no overlay. And the last style number 5 is no cooldown graphic and no overlay. Let me quickly show you style number 5. You see this is style number 5 for the ability. There is no blue bar or any kind of a colored bar going on here. There is just a number showing the remaining seconds of the ability. A very quick demo of let's say style number 3 which is dark cooldown and dark overlay. I've used this ability and uh, the blue bar is now very much dark and the background is also dark. Moving back to style number one because as I mentioned that's my preferred one. And from the second drop down menu we have a few settings available for global cooldown style. For the global cooldown style we have bright cooldown with a dark overlay. And again, the same five styles, I wouldn't probably need to read them all. So because of the global cooldown existing existence, you will see that all of the active and available ability go on a very short cooldown because the global cooldown is by default 1.5 seconds and my Ataro form shortens it even further because of the alacrity boost. 
it it depletes actually even quickly. I've chosen my Marauder to show you these things. However, it's absolutely totally up to you, whichever style you prefer. Down below with the cooldown text settings, we have the size of these numbers. So 11, 10, 9, and so on and so on. You can make them much smaller. You will see how much smaller they go now. And this is also very important. Show tenths of a second. I have selected it to one, so below one second it will start it will start showing 0 0.9 0 0.8 and so on and so on watch again the cooldown eight seven six five four three two one and below one it starts showing the decimals if i put that to three seconds for example from the third second below to zero it's gonna start tenths of a second but since i'm very precise and i don't need to watch the tenths all the time i like to have it and at one and for my cooldown for my um user interface size monitor screen resolution and so on and so on this is how i prefer it text size 16. one last time showing you the default options how i like to use it and for the global cooldown style i'll also have the same setting it's probably a good idea to keep them on the same style because otherwise it might be confusing and well this video went for a very long long duration i didn't in in expect it to be so long but anyway i hope you will find it useful obviously it's targeted to the mostly most new players and uh, the beginners of the game thank you for watching see you next time bye bye